if you're proud of yourself, what's the danger? What is the danger? I don't know. I'm just. I'm not. Just with, I'm, not, I'm not with the detectives and child protection people that have, that have done this. This is a civil matter. It's done in a yeah. private court. There's no such thing as an English law for yeah. private courts. The lady has got it's the paperwork. Law. Read the paperwork and explain yeah. it. It'll explain it's, to you on there. It's not worth the paper it's written on because it's done in a private court. Yeah. Well, I don't know anything about that. Okay. Well, you should do. Because You're a policeman, aren't you? I have come here to assist my colleagues who have been dealing with it all day. Are you I've on your way? I've come in at the end of this whole process that's gone on. I've come in right at the end of it and I haven't been told hardly any of the details about it. My colleagues who are out there will speak to you in a moment, mainly, and they will explain the details. Yeah, that's you know this is fraud, don't you? They take thirty billion pound a year of taxpayers' money of the public fair <coughs> put it into private pockets through the private courts. You know, it's just fraud, child trafficking. You can make a living from stealing children. Well, will your hand there's no danger. Where is the danger? I don't know, because I don't know. An emergency protection order can only be issued are if the child is in imminent danger. Why are you going to hand, hand me? Where's the danger? Think that these people know the ins and outs. Yeah, no, where's the danger? Paul, can I, can I can assist with this? Yeah, you're a child trafficking scumbag. Right, listen, listen to you me. You shouldn't even be here. Right. Where are you off? You're not welcome in here. Where's the warrant anyway to enter this building? Just posted three left box. Right, see it. Asher's got it. Do you want me to fetch it for you? Let yeah. me fetch it for you. No, fetch Asher for me. Asher. You're a sister, mate. No, I don't. No. Because Asha's got a sister, not she? I know that you, what you're doing is unlawful. Okay, okay. And I know what you're doing is unlawful too. Okay. You can expect a private prosecution. I'll take it legal advice is what I'd say to you. No, they wait for the you lot anyway. <laughs> you want to hold? They've got the original in their pockets or some legs. Yeah, I'll back you well, I don't know because I haven't seen the original. The only way you can get this is by don't bribing the judge, either lying to a judge, or you've oh. fabricated it, one or the other. There's no danger. I've even got a video recording of the pre-birth case conference of the last child that was stolen, and they say we're not a danger. So why did you even get this? Mm. Have you got anything you want me to take with with a story? My parents just spent hundred quid on baby things, and you're just going to snatch the baby away. What waste of money? What? Have you got anything to take with him? 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 We're going to have to take Jack, okay? <laughs> We're going to have to take Jack. Now, I don't want to get physical, okay, this is our at all. This Sorry, is Paul. Our this son. Is, I know, I know. Yeah. I, I We've got full parental responsibility. We're married. How the fuck did you lock it? Any parental responsibility as well? How did the judge get parental responsibility? The order there states that we... It's not worth anything, though, is it? Okay. Well, it is. How did the judge get any parental responsibility? Listen, if I'm a parent, he's going to be telling me. Yeah, because you lot are here, now fuck off. Are you No, to be fair. Oh, no, fuck off! Don't open your face. Don't open your face. No, no, no. You carry on, you will. Don't open your face. 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 Let me just take him from you there. Let no, me don't, Tasha. Don't. Oh, well, that's making our job really difficult mm. then because we are taking jobs. What's your job? There are enough yeah. people here. You're making money from okay. stealing children. Okay. Look, I'm going to take him. Paul, Paul, I'm not assaulting anyone. Paul, Paul, Paul. I'm trying to trouble my wife. Okay. I'm trying to trouble my wife. Okay. Okay. Let, let it take it. Can you move? I'm not going to let you take it. No, 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 just calm oh, down, yeah. Yeah. If I'm Get your hands off without the calm down. Can you just hold back off? I am calm. I mean, you're the ones who are causing this tension. Right. Right. None of us are going to go. What? None of us are going to go. 
Well, what are you going to do with the screaming baby in the car? We need to take Jack, okay? We need to take Jack now. Before oh everybody gets. This is Jack. There you go, take that. Before everybody gets yeah, very old. Jack. Well, you are the one who caused the tension. Okay. Which is like me saying, okay, well, which am, I, am, I sh- am I shy? Well, am I shy? Am I shy? Good enough at neither. Okay. Mm, yes. Right, okay. Asha, I need to take Jack, okay? Why are you? <coughs> so, can you, pass, can you pass him to me, please? To me, what? Oh, you're not oh, no. you're not oh, I'm trying to help. 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 I'm
Good afternoon, welcome to the UK Column Live. It's the 5th of April 2013. It's just gone quarter past one. Um, welcome to Britain 2013. Um, what you've just witnessed there only happened yesterday with a baby of one year old. One day old. One day old, sorry, one day old. Um, over to you, Brian. Well, we were past this film um, first thing this morning. We watched it. Um, I think that the whole of the UK Column Live team are feeling like most of the viewers this afternoon, it just absolutely appalling. But this is the reality of what is happening in Britain in 2013. This is not happening to one family. This is happening to thousands of families, their children literally being stolen by the state. Uh, we're going to take you through some of the processes. We're going to try and answer how is this happening? Why is it happening? How is it possible? But at the end of the day, it is up to all of us to stop it dead because it ends somewhere extremely unpleasant, as many people in the chat box um, have been picking up on. So I'm just going to take you through just a couple of stills of the film that we've uh, just seen. And of course, the first person here we've got is a police officer. And we say to ourselves, well, really, who is this man? What sort of man, or possibly father, would be involved in stealing a one-day-old child? What kind of man would do this? And we've got to ask a question, does he actually understand what he has become part of? My comment on this is that many, many people died to try and stop this sort of behaviour happening in Britain. This is the behaviour of Stalinist Russia or Nazi Germany. And now we've got a man dressed in black in somebody's home stealing their children. Who is this man? What police force does he work for? And we can say the same thing here. Basically, who are these women? And what kind of women would come into somebody's home to help steal a newborn baby from his mother and they remain so cold? And this is an issue which we're going to come on to. And of course, we've got this gentleman and we've seen the little play acting of reassuring a mother, patting her on the head, there, there, don't worry, we've just taken your newborn baby. So what kind of man or father, is this man a father, can help steal a newborn baby from his mother? It's really incredible when we look at the reality of what's happening in Britain, and I'm going to be very, very hard and say that UK column team watch on a daily basis across the internet, across Facebook, across Twitter, uh, people arguing amongst each other, criticising each other, attacking each other. Well, this is the reality of what's going on in Britain today. And if we don't stop it, we will show you where it will end up. Now, if you'd like to understand the mentality behind the people, I'm going to say, please go and watch the interview, which we did yesterday with a gentleman from Ireland called Kevin Bull. We were talking about the deaths in the NHS, but specifically we were talking about the rise of low empathy people. In the NHS, these are the people that can switch off life support or dehydrate or starve elderly people in order to increase the profits of the NHS. But of course, it's the same low empathy people that we're seeing in, the, this, uh, in Paul's house stealing his newborn baby. So do have a look, go to UK Column website, and this is the interview, and it's called A Conversation About the NHS. And of course, we know the reality because the papers are talking about it. Um, hundreds of thousands of patients have been deliberately killed within the NHS. 
And here it's pointing out that some 20,000 actually had dementia, so they had no say in whether they lived or died. This is Britain. This is not Nazi Germany, or is it? And of course, the men ultimately responsible are the men in and women in power. These are the people ultimately responsible for the stealing of the children and the deaths of vulnerable people. What is one clue to what's going on? How much are children worth? And this is a simple little sum based on the fact that a contract was issued of £733,000 for six months for 30 children to be looked after by foster care associates in Bristol. If you multiply that up to the 60,000 children currently in care nationwide, the figure is £2.8 billion per year. Children are being treated like commodities. So there we are, 2.8 billion, but of course this doesn't include the amount being uh, charged by special units, which can be up to £1 million per child per year, and it doesn't include the £20 billion a year, which is the amount circulating in fees and profit around the family courts. Children have become big business. Who benefits? Local authorities, the legal profession, £70,000 per day, the medical experts, £3,000 a day, foster parents, therapists, £3,000 a day if they're being used in the courts, special schools, £7,000 per week, and of course the adoption and fostering agencies, uh, a minimum of £18,000 per year per placement. This is taken from Hansard and shows some of the amounts of money that were changing hands where the government was paying local authorities to take children from their parents. And of course Northampton there um, taking £1.1 million in government money as a reward for the children. Kent 2.1 million, Essex 2.4 million. This is the British government paying people huge sums of money to steal children. The fostering network across Britain has 58,000 members covering 380 fostering services and uh, they're delighted that um, their income has risen by 18% to 6.5 million and they can now pay out 2.6 million in salaries. Children have become assets for the state. And even people like Harriet Harman, who has actually uh, been campaigning, or was previously campaigning to make pornographic pictures of children uh, easier to do, um, had worked out that secretive family courts were sending people to prison in addition to stealing the children. 200 people were sent to prison by the family courts, which happens in complete privacy and secrecy. So the judges who are faceless behind closed doors with no jury and no press can issue the orders by which children can be stolen. And they then issue gagging orders, which simply mean that people can't reveal the truth as to what they're doing. Christopher Booker of The Telegraph, as one journalist, has worked out that something very nasty is going on when he wrote this article, the secrecy of the family court system has reached a bizarre new extreme. The courts have to be secret, because the British government is stealing thousands and thousands of British children and thousands of children from other countries. Staffordshire Social Services are responsible for the stealing of the one-day-old baby from uh, uh, Paul and his wife. Details are now widely available on the internet. 
Staffordshire County Council is responsible for those social workers. And one man who's got a special responsibility is this gentleman, uh, the leader of the council, a conservative, Philip Atkins. Plenty of information is available about him if you feel so strongly that you feel he should be informed as to what is really going on and what the British public really think about his organisation and his callous social workers. But ultimately, we have to look at this level. Edward Timpson, MP. He is the minister responsible for child protection and, of course, he's an ex-barrister working within child protection. I need say nothing about David Cameron. Details of Mr. Edward Timpson and how to get in contact with him are available through the Department for Education. And finally, we will end on this quote, the state must declare the child to be the most precious treasure of the people. As long as the government is perceived as working for the benefit of the children, the people will happily endure almost any curtailment of liberty and almost any deprivation. In fact, the reality in Britain today is that the state is already surpassing the Nazi ideology in stealing, trafficking and abusing children. It's up to us to do something about it. We know where this ends and uh, Louise has been flagging up the comments uh, here today. Yeah. Many of you who have watched this programme knows where, know where this will end if we as all the people across UK do not do something to stop it. If you want to know what to do about it, the simple answer is exposure. Talk about it, Twitter, email, tweet, Facebook, uh, Facebook personal meetings with your MPs. Let's get the telephone calls going to uh, Staffordshire um, Council. Let's start asking the questions. We need millions of good British people to say, no, we do not consent to this behaviour. There is no other news today because if we do not deal with this one item, our children have no future and we do not have a future. So do see the interview with Kevin Ball from yesterday which explains how these people are being created as low empathy monsters. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Bye-bye.